can come in very different types. Um, toy donations, book donations, even household items. When, when someone has a um, life-threatening disease, we can donate money. This is called money donations. There are poor people which they don't have a good financial placing. So we can donate we can donate to them and then if, for their needs. If we teach kids how to donate, then they'll know the importance of learning. Once upon a time, there lived a merchant and his three daughters. One day, the merchant said, I'm going on a long journey. So he asked what their daughter wanted on his return. The first and second daughter said they wanted lovely dresses. But the third daughter, Beauty, said, Father, get me a rose. So the merchant said goodbye and left for his journey. The merchant got all the things for his elder daughters, but he couldn't get a rose for his daughter, Beauty. When he, when he was coming back home, he found a huge castle. place on earth like my school is the only place where insanity rules. I mean, the teachers are normal, but the kids aren't. They're different and very weird. I may be the only normal kid on campus. Well, you may be wondering, how are these kids weird? Well, let me give you an example of Linda McCheesy. You see, the McCheesies love photography. In fact, Every single member of the McCheesy family is a professional photographer. A few weeks ago, we went to their house for dinner and we took our professional camera to take a photo. My mom insists we should take our memories with an actual camera. But that camera was 30 pounds and I was not happy. So once there lived a bear. He lived inside a cave. He had no friends. One day, he went into the forest to find friends. He met with a rabbit. He asked the rabbit, Would, can you be my friend? And the rabbit said no. And the rabbit also said, you might eat me. The bear said, I won't. So Everybody. One day, the professor walked into his class and he told his students to prepare for, oh no, a surprise test. Nobody was prepared for this surprise test. They kept asking each other, hey, what's the formula for this? Hey, can you help me with this? I totally don't understand it. The, the class waited anxiously for the test to be passed out. Every, the, the, the teacher passed out the test with the text facing downwards. After he was done passing out the test, the teacher said, OK, class, now you may flip over your test and begin. But to everybody's surprise, today I'm going to tell you a story about a boy who came from my hometown of Kerala, India. His, na his pet name is Kutin. Now, why did I choose Kutin? 
because I couldn't choose an American name. But for other reasons, I will tell you um, his name. He had a friend named Babu. He went to the same school as Babu, a small, regular public school, nothing really special. His fam Gutten's family was very poor. They couldn't buy him books, but he was still a very, very bright student. an old farmer and his name was Jake. He had a, uh, a son. He had a son called, uh, named Luke and uh, Luke was a person who had finished college but he still didn't find a job yet. Uh, Jake was a poultry farmer and he had many chickens in his farm. But every single night one, uh, one or two of Jake's chickens would go missing. And Jake always thought that it was a fox that would take his chickens. So one night, he stayed near his chicken coop and waited for the fox to come so that he could confront the fox. Ecosystems are everywhere around the world, just like the forests, the deserts, and rainforests, and everywhere. You, you can also see ecosystems everywhere around us as well. In fact, we can make our own ecosystems in our house. With the proper materials, you can make an ecosystem bottle. An ecosystem bottle can contain a living animal, like a fish or a snail, and a living plant on top of it. The goal is to make sure that you don't feed the fish or the plant, but they must work together to accomplish, to live, and succeed. everyone. My name is Shala Talori. Uh, thanks Srinivas Garu and thank you uh, Manohar Garu. Now uh, I come here from Jacksonville, Florida and this is my first time here in Dallas and I just loved it. I drove here from Pl Flower Mound and I they, what do they say? Everything Texas does is big or something like Yeah that's how I come from a small town St. John's, Florida and this is huge for me. So what is PURE? PURE is People for Urban and Rural Education. What we do is bring opportunities closer to children who cannot go look for them because they cannot afford it. So um, uh, Srinivas uh, mentioned Facebook and the reason could be that I um, used social media to reach thousands of children. A childhood many, many, many years ago um, in the old country uh, of Guyana. Uh, just a little bit of history of myself. Um, I've been in the for over 45, 46 years now. Uh, my forefathers uh, came from North India back in the 1800s, 1840 to be precise, uh, went to South America. They got 250 uh, North Indians, South Indians went to the West Indies. So I'm the fourth generation from the forefathers of India. We came to the United States, my dad in the, in the 60s, and uh, my, my kids were born in the United States, and I'm a very a religious person, and it so happened that my son uh, got married to a girl in Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. 